Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know brain. We all have our memories. Some of them are more important than others. Some that defines of who we are, where we come from, and how far we've gone. Memories are the most important things to have as a person. But sadly, not everyone has their memories. When I woke up, wherever I was, I woke up with only knowing one thing in my mind. That was my name. Aurora Dawn. I didn't know what I was beforehand. I didn't know where I came from. I didn't know my backstory. All I know was now. Let me explain to you of what I mean. And possibly the simplest way ever. Maybe. To put it in short, that I am not human. That I am not a Black Watch agent, a soldier, or anything. I was simply a virus to the so-called Mercer virus. If you don't know what the Mercer virus is, then obviously you have not been updated or it was just hidden from you. The Mercer virus is simply from a guy called Alex Mercer who released the infection among all people in New York and parts of other cities. It spreads, but it's getting quarantined by Blackwatch. And even Blackwatch is corrupted. The only thing I remember, the start of my memories, was waking up in a building where people were helping me gain healed up because apparently I have come to them in aid of assistance of health. I obviously thanked these people and went on my merry way to figure out what happened to me. Who was I? I roamed the streets for a couple of weeks until I noticed some odd behaviors from Blackwatch. Some of them were more aggressive to people, not caring of who we are. And I was right. I took notice that there was a truck full of people in cages that were screaming for help that they didn't do anything. They didn't hurt anyone. Of course, I noticed one of them straight away. One of them was the people who helped me get better. Of course, with my idiotic mind, I decided to walk up to the cages, getting caught by Blackwatch agent. He obviously told me to move along by protest saying that you have someone who is important to me that obviously doesn't do any wrong like they were so young possibly younger than me but he didn't care he ended up shoving me away shoving me to the floor and that made me angry i obviously got out to punch him but he easily got the upper hand by smacking me with his gun and pointing the gun at me. He said he wasn't afraid to shoot me at any moment, at any time, and told me to simply just to back off. I was still an idiot. I kept on protesting that some of these people did not deserve what they were doing to them. 
And of course I blurted out something that obviously he didn't like. I obviously blame them for the infection. I blame them that Mercer exists. I blame them that James Heller exists. Because he's a thing now. And of course the guy got so angry that he shot me. Not in the head, but in my side. Of course I bash into the truck where people were worried for me as I was someone that was trying to protect them. I stared up at the guy as he walked closer and closer to me. And let's just say, it didn't end well for him. To put it simply, I grabbed his gun, that was a pistol, and smacked him across the face with it. I was sick and tired of taking orders from these Blackwatch idiots that didn't care at all about these people. These people didn't do anything. All they did was ever to help me and help others. They did not deserve this torture. And of course, I didn't expect something that happened next. After hitting the guy's face, I realized I hit him too hard. Not just to knock him out, but killing him too. And for some reason, his body was starting to get ripped apart. And I heard screams as his body was combining with mine? Wait, hold up. What is going on? Was the mind process I had before I got taken over by his memories. All of his memories. Some of them were about Blackwatch. How they were going to do many tests, many things that would happen in the Yellow Zone. After coming round, after seeing those memories, seeing the blood on the floor. I knew this isn't good. I looked over at the people who were scared of me. I was scared myself. I just found out that the yellow zone wasn't the safest place to be in. It was a laboratory. Just to test out how these things work towards people. They were trying to use them as bioweapons. And of course, when I got everyone out of the cage as one backward agent was on, the people just pushed me over and just ran away. Not even a thank you. And the person who saved me yelled out that I should have died before they rescued me. It was hurtful to hear. After what I just did for them, like I got shot. But of course, when I looked down, the bullet that was in my side was gone. I didn't know how that would have worked. I didn't know how it worked. There was something going on with the body that I didn't even knew. So I went to investigate it. I took my time around Blackwatch, took my time to research a few things here and there, off grid, of course. I find that Alex Mercer wasn't really the first person to release the infection. There was a place called Idaho where they test a virus to see if these people were acting in such a way. Oh, they did. And their bodies change. I noticed that they also reported that there was only one survivor who has a baby. Elizabeth Green. The second outbreak was with Alex Mercer. Alex Mercer released the virus 
into New York. And ever since then, the virus went down after possibly a couple of years or a year. And then all of a sudden, a third outbreak released possibly by Alex Mercer. Or it just came back. But I believe it was Alex Mercer though. And why from Blackwatch? They don't care about the people. All they care about is if this thing could be created as a weapon. And try to be heroes by using people as test subjects. It was sick. And over that time, I got stronger. After realizing that, I wasn't human. I wasn't just a person. I was a virus. Just like Alex. Just like James. But I was an old type. I was here for such a long time. Ever since Idaho was infected. I was an old virus that just evolved over time. Quite strange, really. I'm surprised I would have lasted this long. I thought that my systems would have shut down on me. Maybe that would have explained why my memories just disappeared. It was hard to recall all of them. But again, over time, I get caught up a couple of times by Blackwatch. They don't see me as a big threat. So they want to kill me still, but they think that I'm not such a big threat to them. Which isn't really true. In a way, James Heller is a big problem to them. But I was just a little weasel to their plans. I simply sneak in and out grabbing information and just growing stronger. I gain abilities after consuming certain creatures that would have destroyed people, would have destroyed buildings, that would have destroyed and killed. That was going to be used as test subjects. I obviously stopped that. For a while, Alex Mercer's people were also looking for me as I was off the grid. I have to shift into different people. I use my own identity. Not easily sneak by, surprisingly enough. And really? I'm glad it all ended. I entered the red zone just to see if I could go against Alex. But of course, James Allen beat me to it. He also found out that his daughter was still alive. And that he was standing right next to Dana Mercer. Seeming that this was the end. But of course, I felt like it's not the end. This is more of a start of a some. This was more of a start of something even bigger. Bigger than him? Bigger than Alex? Bigger? than me. The virus is not gone. Because I exist. James Heller exists. And this place exists. But for now, I'm just standing by. I'm growing stronger. I'm making sure this black watch doesn't doesn't try anything stupid again.
God damn it! They just got blood all over my hoodie! Are you kidding me? This thing ain't cheap! Oh well, I guess I could lick the blood? I guess?